Hello, everybody. This is attorney Jesus Martinez. And there's been a few people that have asked, you know, where do I send my DAC application out? Where do I mail it? You know, what kind of uh, mail service can I use? And in this video, I'm just going to answer those questions so that if anyone else needs the assistance, you know, it's all in one video and hopefully this helps. If it does, please let me know in the comments or let me know by hitting that like button. So, I mean, first place you're gonna go, you can go on Google, type in DACA and USCIS. It'll take you, you know, to the link that you need to go and then scroll down until you find the forms. Once you find the forms, you click on them and you know, you know you're in the right place if it has the I-821D DACA form. From this page, you can find all the forms that you are going to need to submit the DACA application. I mean, you may need to submit other, um, you know, supplementary documents, like if you have a criminal history, things like that. So that won't be here, but I mean, everything that you need for a US, from every, all the USCIS forms that you need are here. You know, the 821D, the 765, and the 765W. And if you want notification, the G1145. I'm not going to discuss about those, but they're right there. And if you're like, th if you're thinking, well, where, where do I file? Where do I send it to? Click on the where to file. And it depends upon the addresses. So if you live in a different place, you know, you're probably going to send it to somewhere differently than if you lived in Florida or California. So that's important. You click right here where you file depends on your state of residence. Check our filing addresses for consideration of deferred action for childhood arrivals. You click on that and then this is all the information you need. And the first thing, the first thing is where do you live? Once you have found out where you live and if you notice California and Arizona are only in this box or not in this box or not in that box. Same thing um, if you live in Texas, Texas is this box, not that box, not this box. So find out where you live. Once you find out where you live, what state you live in, you're gonna have to decide how you are going to ship the, the package. And then once you decide w with what you know service you're gonna use, if it's gonna be USPS, FedEx, UPS, DHL, then that's gonna determine the address. So, I mean, this is pretty much all the information you're going to need. I will provide a link to this page down below, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you don't have to use a special label. You can write it in, take it at least for USPS. I, I don't ship with FedEx or UPS or DHL. Normally I usually just use USPS. And if you ship it through them, I mean, they have labels that you can use. You don't need to, you can just write it in. That's fine. I mean, if you ship it, you know, like first, uh, I believe it's called first class. It might be anywhere from like three to five bucks if you don't want uh, tracking. If you want to send it via priority mail for USPS, it's about seven to eight bucks. If you want it, and, and that gets there within about three days or so. If you want it to get there, you know, tomorrow within a day or two, that's going to be about 20 to 30 bucks. And the cool thing about that is if you send it out, and it does not arrive by the guaranteed date, you can tell USPS that it didn't arrive by the guaranteed date and they will refund you the amount. So that's something to know. And like, a, if, you, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please let me know. Don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. God bless you. Bye-bye.